So 25 years from now, certain social realities are going to hit us. Our economy is growing at 7%-ish a year. 25 years from now, uh, we are going to be a much more prosperous country than we are today. This prosperity is driven by so many things, but primarily the fact that agricultural workers, uh, who were the historical mainstay of the Sri Lankan economy, are increasingly moving and being attracted to um, urban jobs, either in manufacturing or in the services. Who wants to be a tea plucker or a tea estate worker when they can drive an Uber? So this, this is driving people from rural Sri Lanka into the cities in search of jobs in the service economy, whether it's tourism or manufacturing or apparel. Uh, that's where the attraction is. We have to face that fact that the tea industry is going to get starved of labor. When there's a shortage of labor, what happens is labor wages go up, uh, the cost of production goes up, and RT becomes more expensive. So in 25 years, I think the bottom end of the market, that one third of Sri Lanka's 700 tea factories who aren't making the best possible teas, are either going to disappear or have to wait for handouts from the state by way of subsidies. I hope it's going to be the disappear, because we want an industry that's really up there and competitive and, and earning its way and not waiting for uh, largest from the state. So I think it's going to be a smaller industry. Uh, 300 million kilos a year is probably going to shrink. Again, look at Japan. Japan produces only 90 million kilos of tea a year compared with Sri Lanka's 300. But it earns six times more value. So my focus is getting value into the industry, and not so important in how many kilos. If we produce one kilo of tea, that'll sell for one and a half billion dollars, my job is done. <laughs> so my, my focus is not so much on, on quantity. I think we, we missed the bus by looking at quantity. We've got 200,000 hectares of tea planted in Sri Lanka. That will probably shrink in 25 years to maybe 150,000 or maybe even 100. And I think that's not a bad thing, because there's, there'll be new things that might be more productive than tea, the Sri Lankan economy might be getting to a level of prosperity, as has happened in the West, where people say they'd like to see agricultural land uh, being converted back into forest, back into natural landscapes, because that's of greater recreational and environmental value. So I think as Sri Lankan values change, the tea industry will probably downsize significantly while upsizing in terms of export value, value addition, and international branding.